In 2020, I got 100 PC gains for free. Today, I want to tell you how and where I got them. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Recently, I was talking to a person who is a new college grad. He was out of college last year. Most of you probably know this is not an easy time to land a job. He was only able to find some short-term works. Therefore, he doesn't have a stable income at this moment. This person came to me because he knew I experienced the same situation before. I was out of college in the end of 2008. If you still remember, that's the time when recession started. So yes, I was in his shoes 12 years ago. He was asking my advice on how I survived during a time like that. Also, he wants to play video game to kill some time. With very limited budget, how can he do it? Of course, I wouldn't mind to share my experience with him. In the end, I think those are pretty useful information. Why not just share it with everybody? That's why I decided to make this video. I used to say video games is not necessarily an expensive hobby. However, one thing I forgot to mention is that it only applies when you have a stable income. If you don't have a stable income or you are a student, then video game could be a very expensive hobby. That doesn't mean you should stay away from it. There are still some cheap ways to enjoy video game. And that's what I'm going to talk about next. My first suggestion to this person is getting a budget or affordable gaming laptop. How much does a budget gaming laptop cost? Normally, I will say the list price between $500 to $600. However, at a special time like now, you are probably looking at somewhere between $650 to $750. It sucks, I know. Unfortunately, laptop is a hot item since last year. Unless our life is back to normal, I don't think the price will go down anytime soon. Basically, you do need to invest some money up front. One good thing about PC gaming is you can get a lot of games for free these days. Epic Game Store hands out at least one free game per week. Sometimes they might even give two games a week or 12 games in 12 days. The games they give, which include AAA titles like GTA V, Watch Dogs 2, and a lot of popular games like City Skyline. I recall they gave Total War Saga last year. That's a brand new game at that time. Just check Epic Games Store every Thursday. You will see which free game they are going to give. Besides Epic Games Store, there is also Steam. There are two ways you can get free games from Steam. First, publishers will give free games occasionally. For example, I got a Metro 2033 for free a few weeks ago. The other way is from Humble Bundle. Sometimes Humble Bundle will give a free Steam key. They don't do this as often as many years ago. I only received a couple of free games from them in the past year. However, Humble Bundle is a great place to get a deal. When I was a PC gamer, I got some great deals from them. There are also other platforms you can get a free game from. Steam and Epic are the two main ones I used. Sometimes you might be able to get a free games directly from developers. I know Ubisoft get free games during holiday or special promotion events. I got some old Assassin's Creed games from them before. Now you are probably wondering how I know those free game information. I normally go to Reddit. There are quite a few subreddits provide free game information. I check them daily. That's how I make sure I don't miss any free game. Now let's do a little math. Epic Game Stores offers at least one free game per week. With all the special events, I got 95 games last year. Steam normally gives 5 to 10 games plus couple games from Ubisoft. In total, I got 100 plus games for free last year. That's a lot of games. Normal person probably will not be able to finish all of them. That's why I think PC gaming is the best option for batch gamers. This person also asked me how about console gaming. My question to him is do you own any system already? If the answer is no, I don't recommend console gaming for batch gamers. As a huge console gamer myself, I must say console gaming is not that cheap. You definitely need a stable income to support it. Some people might ask how about a free game on console. Yes, you get a free games on console. Right now, Sony gives 9 free PS4 games for their play at home event. 
with Rich and Clink in March and Horizon Zero Dawn in April, you will get 11 free games from Sony this year. I recall they get 4 free games last year. Few publishers also get free games across all platforms. You definitely get the free games on console, but just compare it with PC, you don't get that many free games. That's why I told this person to stick with PC gaming for now. I can sense some of you are going to type never heard of SGPU in the comment section. Of course I know it's about Game Pass, and it's definitely something for batch gamers. Their service is also available on Windows. My biggest problem with SGPU is the price. I only bought it during promotion period and stick it with gold membership. This time I bought one month SGPU for $1 and stack it with my three months gold membership. In the end, I got a four month SGPU and I only use it to play those easy achievement games. I will only recommend SGPU for people who own Xbox already and you can get the service cheap or even free. How to get a free SGPU? Microsoft Rewards. I don't want to cover Microsoft Rewards today, just Google it if you are interested. There is another reason I recommend gaming laptop for this person. A gaming laptop can do more than just gaming. He can do some side works with it, which can bring additional income. That's something I think this person needs. That's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. If there is other tips you would like to share, feel free to leave a comment below. Just a friendly reminder, don't discuss any piracy related topic. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.